Hey guys, welcome back to um Shogi Games and today I'll be playing Terraria. And this is a tutorial on how to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Now the Eye of Cthulhu is one of the easiest boss bosses in Terraria. Um he's um he's one of the first bosses that is spawned for you to so you get better in the game, you gotta you gotta defeat this boss. Um, he's summoned by using a suspicious looking eye, or he spawns naturally by um if you have if you get into the game and you like got some gold stuff, he might spawn or earlier, and he will spawn um down the bottom in green riding at night. It will say you feel an evil presence watching you, and then about. 30 seconds later, it will say the eye of Cthulhu has awoken. So, um, that's another way of how it's won what you'll need. So, wood armor, yeah, even though it's poor defense, it's better than no defense. Um, a tin broadsword, or um, yeah, tin broadsword, not a short sword. Go bronze broadsword, or to topaz staff. The only problem with the topaz staff is the mana. Um, at at my level, I tried using a topaz staff, and I just kept on running out of mana too quickly. So that's the other bad thing using mana, but still, mana it does a bit fair bit of damage. So that'll be good. Oh, I just need to hang this trophy. I got okay. So so that's how you, to make the eye using six lens at a demon altar, and demon altars are found in. Corruption, so that's uh, my corruption, or um, or crimson. And if you're not sure what they look like or where to find them, just like search up in Terraria Wiki on Safari or Google um, demon altars, and I'll come up with a picture on how to find them and all that stuff. Um, it's almost night, so so you need Eye of Cthulhu, Lens of Healing Potion, some dirt book. Dirt box or mud box, really any box. Um, tin broadsword and some wood armor. And if you guys, um, all the stuff, if you forget all the stuff, will be down in the description below. Um, and to beat him, so you build a platform up out of um, dirt or mud. I, I just have like a bit of both. And just wait really till night. Um, and then, so this platform is for, so you're above the ground, so really enemies can't really spawn on it, but since I'm in hard mode, they can jump up on it. So, wanna just, cause this is so you can dodge it, um, dodge like a Thor's attacks, and all of that. Um, and after you beat, beat him, you can get some pretty good stuff, you can get some cryptane or to make some cryptane bar and that means you can get some pretty good weapons so you can get some so you can get a the blood butcherer 24 melee some hammer all this stuff and to make this um you need to do the brain of the cthulhu um i'll have another tutorial on that as well on how to do him and then you can make some um, cr crimson armor which has some good healing powers um, with it. So I still can't spawn it yet. Um, and I'll have, in this series, I'll have some, um, all the bosses. Well, yeah, all the bosses and how to defeat them. And so, hope you guys enjoy. Just gotta wait till night. Any time now. Um... I'll go, I'll go show you my world, go on a tour. If you want to skip this, just go straight ahead and just skip it, just skip this part. Um, so, while I wait till it's night, but, um, so, it's a good thing when you get into mine where make these artificial biomes. And what these artificial biomes do, they spawn enemies. So that means you don't have to go um to those enemies you can just go say here i've got a corruption biome and i'll have um a video on how to make these biomes as well so like just this and then you can click resources 
from these. So I have a jungle one up here, and that says spawning some jungle enemies. Um, and this is always a good in hard mode. And then up here I have a nice one. So still almost nice, not just yet. Um, it's when I turn into a werewolf, then it's night. So I better shut off. Jeez, the dirt one. Oh my god, hello you, you. Okay, I, I've just been wanting that jungle key mod forever. Anyway, um, okay, so I'll go, um, to where it is. I think I missed it. Nope, not yet. Okay, so I'll go to my platform. I'll wait. So. Okay, so see the eye of Cthulhu has awoken. So what it is is a big eye. I'll just get rid of these things. So what you want to do, get your sword and just... So you, you want to really stay on the platform and just dodge it as much as you can. Um, and then... So I can dodge it a bit easier because of my wings, but still, you really need to dodge this to win. Um, you, you can take these, um, swiftness potions, they, um, they make, they have, um, they make you do, so you're faster speed, so you'll be able to go with this fast, um, so that means it'll make it easier to dodge your attacks, and, of course, when you have wings, um, it's way easier, but, so this is its second form, it's big, it's open mouth, um, so yeah, just go keep on dodging it, keep on swinging it. So yeah, I'm a little bit high. Just gotta drink some um, potions to keep my health up, so I don't die. And uh, it's defeated. So Ark of Thor has been deleted right there. So um, what did I get? I got some corrupted seeds from the demonite ore, and of course some coins. Six coins. So that's how you defeat the eye um eye of Cthulhu. Thanks for watching. Um be sure to watch my next video which will be um the brain of Cthulhu. Um like sub and watch my